Well, good morning YouTube and the metaverse and beyond. So, today's a little bit different. So, no Budsy, as you can see. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not moving out of his bed today. The problem uh, I've got with Budsy at the moment is, the girls are in season. He's like, yeah, I'm not moving, I'm not leaving these girls unprotected from that fogly bulldog. So, uh, he's got a day in bed. Well, we have reached sunny Wales. Oh, look at it. It's bloody lovely. Oh, apart from the bloody 20 mile an hour speed limits everywhere, but hey, you know, they haven't made the Nationals 20, so it's still fun to be had. Oh, I do love Wales. I've been for so long. I used to spend most of my working life uh, riding Wales. Oh, God, I miss it. I'm not going to lie. There's something about being on a bike every day and getting paid for it. <laughs> But there you go, that's life. So yeah, we're heading for the Breckens. It has been a really foggy. As you still see a bit up there, look. It's just started, it's just started to clear as we speak. Oh, I do love this mighty scrambler. I mean, look at that, that's, uh, that's bloody beautiful, isn't it? We've got the bloody weather now, it's beautiful. Nationals! Life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes and the green is starting to leave the trees now i love it when all the leaves have gone oh the roads just get quicker and safer once they've all gone you'd get a beautiful view down there that's for sure been a good 18 months since i've been this way i must remember which way we're bloody going before i get carried away oh and the other good thing about uh, the autumn is uh, well, just how beautiful the colours of the leaves are. Well, we're going to have lunch on the top of a mountain. And uh, I just hope the fog has gone from up there. Because it, uh, it is just so beautiful. And the perfect place to eat your lunch, that's for sure. So, yeah, if you've never been to Wales or the Reckons, you really need to get yourself here. It's beauty. And to be fair for me, I mean, Scotland's beautiful, but it's just far too far for me to travel. It's saying there's a road closure, so oh, I hope it's not where I want to go. problems today. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. Road head closed, but you never know if it's just a side road that's bloody closed. Or is it the main road that's closed? Uh, be a diversion for sure. Hey, maybe some new roads. A diversion it is. diversion it is but then you know what <laughs> sometimes you you find the best roads when the roads that are just given to you because you've got no choice like that for a diversion I have no clue where I'm going well I'm gonna get back to the point I wanted to start I have no clue maybe we go around the mountain to get back on the mountain 
<laughs> I feel for him on his bloody sports bike. It's definitely not a sports bike road, that's for sure. But you know, that's what the adventure is all about. But hey, you know what? The road less travelled sometimes is the better road to take. <laughs> not so much if you're on a sports bike. <laughs> but you know, it'll be an eye-opener for him, eh? Hopefully nothing comes the other way too fast. Oh, I'm going in the bushes otherwise. Oh, yeah, here's a car. Thank you. And this is why I went for the tyres that I went for. Because you know what? I don't do a lot of off-roading. But it's occasions like these. I'd rather have the option. Now, I've been where he is, and I've done roads like this on a sports bike. And that's what made me get rid of my sports bike. He'll be going in his helmet now. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Getting up the goat trail. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh dear. I'm laughing because I'm thinking about poor old Josh. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Where are you, kid? There he is. I wonder if he can actually even get up because I'm spinning. Oh dear. <laughs> He's even coming off, bless him. I'm guessing he's fucking stuck. Yeah, well, he was coming up. I don't know if he still is or he's, he's come off. Yeah. <laughs> I did worry about you on that last yeah, track. The guys get out of the car, push me up. Right, let's. <laughs> <laughs> it's all experience. <laughs> oh dear. Bless him. I did worry about him. I mean, I've got tyres that are 70 30, I think they are. <laughs> oh dear, it just made me chuckle. I could only imagine. I mean, when I was slipping uh, on that hill, um, all I could think about was how the hell is he going to get up there? But hey, nothing to hit. The mighty scrambler sucked it up. It is beautiful though, isn't it? You, ca you can't deny it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I do hope I don't have to take him uh, up another track like that though. I'm not going to lie. So he can't say that he hasn't, he hasn't took his bike to the proper part of Wales, all of Wales. As long as we don't have to do another track like that, it'll be okay, I'm sure. And it could be worse, it could be absolutely pissing it down. So, I think we're nearly back on the A40 now. Where oh, did the diversions go? That was a beautiful diversion. That's for sure. What a beautiful place to live. Oh, it just goes on forever and ever. I love this road. This still isn't quite the uh, epic beauty that uh, I'm talking about, though. That's yet to come. Because we must go up before we can come down. You've got to watch out for the old sheepies. That's for sure. Mind you, you know when you're out uh, in the world beyond, <laughs> you come over that cattle grid. You know, you're coming, here we go, cattle grid. Oh yeah, and here we go. Oh, bloody love it. Just gotta watch out for the sheepies. Because they really don't care, the sheep. I'm quite used to it up here, but it's worse in the spring when the lambs are out. Because they're obviously a little bit more stupid. Bit going up, going up is amazing. Look 
because this is where you get the views and this is what I love oh god so I'm just gonna let you enjoy the epicness I thought you'd enjoy that bit. Can you believe I found this by mistake the first time I did it? Wow, well, that's lunch done. Uh, oh, let's carry on with some beautiful riding. I think Josh is blown away by the sheer beauty. He says to me, uh, what's the name of this road? And I went, I just know it as fucking awesome, because it really is. Like I say, to think I found this road by mistake, absolutely bloody amazing. So we're now heading to the Devil's Staircase, which is a 25% decline, 25% downhill, which actually sounds worse than what it is, but it's quite steep. And, uh, oh my God, I've seen the old person camping there, just down there. Yeah, the camp just down there on that bit of uh, green grassland. What an epic place to wake up. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Oh, look at it It just gets better and better, doesn't it? Bloody beautiful yeah, So, devil's staircase Here we are Like I say, what goes up Must come down
Oh, so the mighty scrambler bloody loves it. <laughs> I've got to say, I didn't know if you wanted to get a photo of your bike on the bridge. He thinks that that's it for the epicness of Wales and this pass. But there's still more to come. Yeah, he's about to find out. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs so, I think, you know what? I've done another video in for today. I think you'll agree. Let me know in the comments below. What an epic place to be. Oh, don't put your bikes away. There's some beautiful winter riding still to be had. This is for sure. So, you know, put your warm clothes on, get your bikes out and uh, come out, have some fun. Head to Wales, head to the Breckens. Do you know what? It's absolutely gorgeous here. And this is epitomizes what motorcycling is. This is what it's all about. I'm going to uh, end on that note. Thank you very much for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, me and Budsy will see you on the next one. Hey, stay safe out there. Live your best life. Yeah.